Alright guys, welcome back to Reptilian Exotics YouTube channel. Um, I got a very exciting little short video for you guys today. We're back here with Mama's or Sarong uh, female croc monitor. Uh, she just got done laying some eggs. So I seen her down here earlier starting to lay some eggs. Um, once again, I'm not sure why she's choosing not to use the lay bin. Um, I did some updates to it. However, you know, whatever, I'm, I'm happy just to get, get eggs. Um, I did kind of move her off of, the, away from the nest area here. I was going to totally take her out. Um, I, I, maybe I should have. Uh, it might not have stressed her out so much. I just didn't want her to damage the eggs or, you know, and I wanted to get a little footage here for you guys. Um, so I got her away from the nest. It looks like quite a few of them down in there. Uh, I, I believe she would have covered them on her own if I'd have left her alone. But uh, like I said, the lights are getting ready to go out down here. It is uh, late evening. Um, you know, so let's go ahead and just, you know, be grateful for the good clutch. Um, and all we can do is, you know, try to improve our nesting even once again uh, for the, the next clutch. As, you know, this is my second clutch from these guys. Um, I do have like a thermostat hooked up down here with a heat pad on the side. Um, inside her lay bin is actually a lot of leaf litter, topsoil, sand uh, mixture. Um, just like all for all of my other water, water monitors. I, I do realize this is not a water monitor. Um, but, you know, I figured nesting would be similar. Um, so yeah, we're still gonna, you know, try to dial in her nesting a little bit more on the next pairing. It's all right, mamas, I know. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna try to make this video quick. We're gonna go ahead and just pull these eggs. Um, they look really good. They are down in there, uh, I'd say about six inches. Um, you can see kind of back in that corner where she was digging back in that corner and down in this corner as well. Um, maybe next time I will just, you know, rip all of this cypress out and just do like all soil and top sand uh, with a little loose leaf litter on top. Um, maybe she will nest a little better next time. Nonetheless, she looks just fine. All the eggs are in one area, and you know, we are grateful to have some more eggs from these beautiful croc monitors. Um, also, update on the other eggs. They are due to hatch next month in June, towards the middle of June. So fingers crossed there, we got a few good eggs. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and pull these eggs here and see how many we got. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and steal these eggs here. Um, they definitely look good. Them are some really nice pearly whites there. I'm gonna put them, just like the other croc monitors, hatch right. I'm gonna do like the double boiler system with the water, secondary water container. I gotta pay attention to mama's up there. Um, let's see here. Okay, so there's two. Three, four, five. Yeah, these are. I'm glad that I didn't give her a chance to, you know, destroy the eggs. Or she probably wouldn't have destroyed them. She. Now that one's questionable. Um. I'm still gonna incubate it. Uh, I don't think that's a good one. There's a couple more. I'll put some pen marks on them. Um, you can't really candle monitor eggs. Okay, looks like a couple more. Uh, 
that one's really kind of questionable too. It's an odd shape, a little kind of soft on the end there, but another good one here. So it looks like eight really good ones. And, you know, 10, 10 total, eight look to be really good. Um, and these two are questionable, so. So anyway, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Um, this was actually a pretty easy going video for me. Um, 10 nice, good looking pearly white croc monitor eggs. These would be due to hatch around Thanksgiving if my calculations are correct. And let's just go ahead and say good job to mamas. Good job, mamas. I know, she's upset. She's witnessed me stealing her eggs. She's probably gonna hate me for the next month. Um, but that's okay, we'll get over it and get right back to it. We'll try to improve this nesting situation for the second time um, until we can find something that really seems to be working out. Um, I am grateful either way just to have 10 more good croc monitor eggs. Also, let's go over here and congrat Eagle Fang. Good job there, buddy. That's the male, the male sarong croc. If you guys want, you can also refer back to the breeding video and my other egg uh, collecting video. And we'll go ahead and, you know, tune back in at a later date. We'll get these guys uh, put in the incubator. And like I said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me a like and subscribe. Um, you know, if you're not already subscribed and share this video. Until next time, I will see you later, my reptilians.